ladies and gentlemen, an exciting affair between NU and De La Salle. It's now two quarters in, and we can only wait bated breath for what is to come for quarters three and four, because it looked as if there for a moment that La Salle was ready to pull away, and then the National University Bulldogs, Christian, came roaring back, thanks mostly to an explosive three-point shooting afternoon for John Lloyd Clemente. And also that, you know, eight straight points in two possessions, which really oh, turned things around, as we mentioned, with the technical on the faking of foul, uh, what, three times? That's why see Bates was into foul trouble, four fouls in the first half. And for them to be, they were down as much as 10 points, and at that point was down seven points. And because of that, you know, they, they, they're they approaching, they're starting the third to be uh, up by two. But, you know, take that away, and you're seeing highlights from Mark Dyke. Zolo Go has hit two three-pointers uh, in, in this game. It was JV Gallego who was the first spark off the bench for right. us and you. So, a lot of guys are having good games so far um, as we take a look at the number story here, Christian. We're really spelling for a quality, quality matchup we're seeing today. It's just a high quality game. Uh, both teams only five turnovers each. Both teams also shooting, you know, 40 percent for NU, 37 percent for La Salle. Obviously, the, the spotlight was on John Lloyd Clemente, five of six, and his team was six for 16 for close to 38 percent. La Salle, was 5 for 14 and kept them in the game, those threes, especially that one by Joe Logo. But my concern for La Salle, really, that bench is playing out of character. They, coming into this ball game, number one in the league in terms of points allowed in, in, in bench points. That bench of NU, they allowed 35 points, care of Clemente and, and Gallego. And for NU, my concern is for the second half, obviously, with Clemente, you know, 17 points with the hot shooting. Can you continue on with this? Because right. you can expect La Salle to Watch clamp that. down on defense. So can you Marcado still score? Yeah. Can you still score as a team? Because for La Salle, everybody has scored at least three points, nine players. Ganun din naman para sa NU. But the next scorer after John Lloyd Clemente is Gallego at seven, and the rest is about three and two. Uh, you're right, Chris, and I think the question always is, is that going to be sustainable? Exactly. Not just yeah. for JLC, but also for the for team. NU. Let's start with the LaSalle side of things, and by that I mean going into the dugouts to see just what exactly shook down after the first 20 minutes of action. Ayana Perales can tell us more. Go ahead, Ayana. Nico and Christian, di dapat sila nagpapaya. Don't take chances is what head coach Louis Gonzalez exclaimed in the dugout. Now, it was a rough start for the Archers in the first half, especially with Brandon Bates now in foul trouble so early in the game. In the dugout, the coaches reminded the boys to focus, be determined, and keep their composure, especially now that we are in the crucial juncture of the season. Coach Anton Altamirano talked about the NU Bulldogs and how they have a lot of young talents. The Green Archers need to stay mentally focused, of course, in order to be ready for them. Nico, if you remember in the first game, the last time the two teams met, the Archers were also trailing in the first half. So now let's see how the second half will treat the Archers this time. Back to you, Nico and Christian. Well, thanks a lot, Nayana. That's that's a good observation. You know, it's something that you can harp back to if you're Shot Duncanson, if you're Louis Gonzalez. You tell your guys, okay, we had a big lead, we lost it, but we were in this position before against this same team and we pulled out a victory. And sometimes reminders like that the players can go back to and relive, really go, go so far. So leadership starts from the top, and obviously as a coach, you know, it, it frustrates you when you have the lead and then team going back and taking back that lead at halftime. But you still have to be positive because games are won in the second half. That's going out to Dip DiPianco, who was in the NU dugout. Dip, how was Coach Jamaica Harit? Tell us what it was like inside that Bulldog huddle. Nico and Chris, just an update on the defensive game plan of NU. It, it has worked well so far. And the reason for this is during the last two minutes now of the first half, they were at the right position sa kanilang box, which denied Aljun Milesio throughout the first half. Kaya naman naka four points lang siya. And before the game, kung tinatanong niya kung ano nga ba yung defensive game plan, during halftime, he kept asking his team, why are we winning? And it took a few tries before Rev Deputado finally answered, it's because we're listening. And tama nga siya. Dahil nakikinig sa, sila today sa kanilang coaches and wala daw nagkukumit ng same mistake twice. So simple as that. Just following the game plan and listening to the coaches will get them the victory. Nico and Chris. Well, thanks a lot, Dip. And, you know, Christian, continuing with that theme of teaching and how you're leading from the top, 
It's this time it's uh, Coach Jamaica and teaching the lesson and waiting for the answers to come from the players themselves. We'll talk more about that in a second. But in the meantime, let's go back to Dip for a special.